Hi, I'm John Voda from Unix Surplus, and today we're going to take a look at our 48 port brocade woven systems gigabit ethernet switch. This is an open source ethernet switch, which means it's the cheapest way you can get 48 ports of gigabit ethernet with a lot of performance. So let's take a look at the front of the switch. You have 48 RJ45 gigabit ethernet switch ports inside. You have your standard serial console, which comes at 9600 baud and non 81 and then you actually have an auxiliary output console as well. There's no real markings at all on this switch because it's designed to be so resold by resellers for whatever marking they want. Woven Systems is actually a, a company created by Brocade to sell more of their chips. What's happening now in the switch market is that Cisco, HP, or whatever use Brocade switches up front here and Brocade cross switching platform with a microcontroller to then make a switch. So now Brocade's pretty much saying, we're the semiconductor manufacturer, we don't need to add the markup of HP or Cisco or any of those named brands. We're going to make our own switches and use open source routing software across it. So you can see here, these are the media interfaces for gigabit ethernet speed. This is going to be your switching matrix right here. And this has got a 10 gigabit ethernet based switching backplane. This is your microprocessor your memory. And if you need more memory for more routing capabilities, you can add an SO DIM for right there. This interface board right here is your 10 gigabit ethernet interface board. Right now it uses copper 10 gigabit ethernet interfaces. Otherwise that's pretty much it in this switch. You can see here, these are the 10 gigabit ethernet interfaces and it's got AC 110 or 220 volt uh, power. So this switch uses copper CX4 based cabling for 10 gigabit ethernet. So if you were to get one of these 10 gigabit ethernet cards, right now everything's PCIe that's 10 gigabit ethernet. You see this one is an Intel chip underneath here made by Supermicro, very common card. Low profile, you get dual 10 gigabit ethernet ports. This uses what's called the CX4 cable or InfiniBand cable, which is commonly used and also in storage arrays. See here that the, there's two types of this cable. Some have bayonet mounts and some have screw down mounts. It's just going to go just like this and you're going to be able to get 10 gigabit ethernet ports. This switch then uses, also can be done for switch to switch interconnect or 10 gigabit into your main server if you're interested in that. The reason that you want this type of copper interface is that it's cheap. Each of these cables here is only about $20 your cable based co cards here go for under $500 and anything in optical adds a lot more expense. This here is like a 10 gigabyte XFP unit which goes to optical 10 gigabyte. Each one of these alone, if you want to insert one of these in the port, costs around $200 to $250. So you're adding a lot more expense for that 10 gigabit ethernet. There's a reason you do want to use these in switch to switch or long distance uh, hauls because it's been 10 gigabyte ethernet is so fast and the packets come so quickly that the time that it takes via a copper cable to run the calculate the error correcting code and the latency between these two things because of your copper retiming in each of these units um, actually adds latency or delay on 10 gigabyte first packet time. So because optical is more accurate and you have less error correcting code needed you act and less retries, optical is actually faster for switch to switch. However, what we're targeting here in this open source market is inside one large rack, very economical, gigabit ethernet to 10 gigabyte switching. So right here, we use the InfiniBand CX4 style cables, we use the copper cards, and then our woven system switch. And you can't beat the price on that with anything from HP or Cisco. So let's plug this guy in and see what comes up when we plug it in. Right now we're going to take a look at the serial console interface here on the TV. It comes up with a boot menu, just very simple. You can boot off of TCP IP or you can boot off of the local flash storage. Uh, it supports boot P for both configuration and image booting. So if you don't want to actually have to distribute all of your switch software, you can reconfigure flash uh, switches dynamically using Puppet, or other type of stuff in boot P services. So that's pretty much it. You can see here that it comes up and it shows that it's got the Broadcom chips in it, which are the open source switching chips. Um, and then it goes and applies global configuration and interface configuration. It does do full two layer two switching and it has some layer three switching features. 
Unfortunately, it's not a Cisco switch, so you don't get all the guaranteed compatibilities you would with Cisco Layer 3. So that's our Broadcom Woven Systems 48 port gigabit ethernet switch with four 10 gigabit ethernet interfaces on the back. You can order this switch at unixsurplus.com or you can find us on our web store on eBay.